So I do a lot of typing for my job and recently I was watching a video from Ali Abdul about uh, how he can type it to like 156 words per minute and I was like hmm I feel like I can type quite quickly I wonder if I'm anywhere near that. Turns out I'm about a third of that roughly 60 to 70 words per minute at the moment. So I just wanted to see if I could improve on that by just doing a simple typing test every day for 30 days. So my plan is to do this website called 10fastfingers.com and I'm going to be using this keyboard every time because I can sort of transport it if I need to use it at work. Um, and I'm just going to see, I'm going to do one test every single day for the next 30 days and just see what happens. Um, I'll be tracking it on a spreadsheet so I can show you the results at the end and then see how much improvement I can make. So I'll see you at the end of the 30 days. So I am about 10 days into this typing test and I've already learned a few little things. So when I'm working and I'm using my laptop to type, I actually find that I type a bit faster. Now I did do a couple of typing tests practice just on my laptop and found again that I was a bit better. Initially I wasn't quite sure why this was but then I had looked back at some of the videos of me typing and realised that when I'm here and I'm typing I'm sort of almost hovering in midair and my forearms seem to get a bit sore. So sometimes you sort of under, try and get your, your arms onto the desk and then you do it, but that causes your hands to be quite cricked up. So one thing I've sort of recently researched, which I'm, I've started doing now for the typing speed test, is putting some books here so that you can rest your palms. Because um, I've learned that if you rest your wrists on something, like um, I know a support or the desk, it actually can be not very good for you because you cut off almost your blood supply or you make it a bit worse. But actually your palms are a much better thing because they're a bit more padded you can rest on them. It just allows you to be a lot faster with the typing. So that's what I'm going to do from now and that's actually an interesting learning so far. During these 30 days I've been up and down the country from near Brighton to Nottingham, Sheffield, my factory where I usually work, all the way up to North Yorkshire and Newcastle. My 29th test was done in a hotel where I was staying for work and here's how I got on. Eighty words per minute, ninety-six percent accuracy. Last days tomorrow. Not sure how I'm gonna beat that. We'll find out. Right. So day thirty, the final test. I did try and do a little audio recording before I did the test, but the audio was absolutely awful. So uh, I've scrapped that and I'm doing it now. So what will twenty-nine days of typing tests produce? Will I increase? Hopefully. Um, just to give you an idea, my lowest sort of typing speed throughout the 30 days was 64 words per minute. So that's sort of the baseline of where I'm working from and to see how much I can improve. So let's find out how much I can improve by. We will see if I can, if I can reach a new personal best. Right, so enough build up, let's actually look at the results. So the first thing to note is that all of the results kind of fluctuate, they go up and down uh, throughout the tests. To be honest, over the first 10 days, based on the amount it, it fluctuated, I didn't think I was going to increase my speed at all, and I thought this video would all be for nothing. Ironically, although my typing speed did increase, my accuracy actually did get worse throughout the, um, throughout the test. And I think that was just because I was so focused on trying to be faster that my accuracy actually kind of pay the price a bit. So as I mentioned earlier, my lowest speed was on, I think the third day of 64 words per minute, they're all over here. 64 words per minute on the lowest day. But in general, for the first 10 days, I was around the high 60s, uh, a couple of good ones in the 70s as well, early on. Now, one of the key things to note is I sort of got past the halfway point. You can kind of see that in general, I became a lot more consistent with my results, except for this random day 25, what was that? 70 words per minute. So. You can see I got more consistent with my speed and a bit more consistent, I think, with my accuracy. Well, maybe not. But I think that's because I practiced it so much and did it so many times that I started to hone in what my actual speed was. Particularly these last four days as well, they were pretty good. And so, as you can see, that last day 30 that I just talked about, I managed to get to 82 words a minute and 91% <clears throat> accuracy. Now, frustratingly, I did actually do a kind of warm-up practice on my work laptop instead of the actual mechanical keyboard. And I actually did also manage to hit 82 words per minute 
and also 96% accuracy, which is higher than what I did for the official result, which was a bit frustrating. But again, as I've spoken about, the reason that I think I get higher, a higher speed generally on my work laptop is because I type on it all the time for work and I'm used to it more so than my mechanical keyboard, which I do use for work sometimes as well. But I think that's the reason. So there you go, that's all the results. You can sort of see, I put the equation on the line for, for any of you nerds out there that wanna see uh, exactly how much it was increasing by. Um, and you can work out exactly where I'd end up if I carried on going maybe for however many more days. But anyway, with that being said, I think I'll get into the final bits of what I learned from this test. So I did already mention this in the video earlier, but a key thing I learned is that when you're typing for a long period of time, or at least trying to do it consistently and fast, your wrists get really tired if you're not supporting your hands properly. I'll say it again, I think it's really important that you support your hands on your palms rather than your wrists as it's just a bit better for your body. Number two, typing is definitely about flow, getting into a rhythm of typing. Uh, I noticed when I was doing my typing tests, if I just rocked up to my laptop after doing something else completely randomly and I try and do a test, my speeds were so much lower, probably why I got things like 64 because I hadn't been doing it at all before that. When I'd been in a flow of typing and then making notes or writing a lot of emails and I came to do the test, I was a lot faster and a lot more in a rhythm of typing. And naturally, if you do multiple typing tests in a row, you tend to improve. And finally, number three, it's pretty obvious, but your typing speed will increase as you practice. I saw a very gradual increase, but I did see an increase. So if you do want to improve, it's very easy, you just got to practice and do it over and over again. And not just what you'd normally be doing, like writing emails and notes, but actually having a go at maybe doing a typing speed test. Literally, it takes one minute every day. It's, it's very quick and easy. And it's a little bit fun as well if you uh, if you get into it. So that is the, the typing video. I hope you found it vaguely interesting and useful. Um, I think it's quite a fun thing to learn, particularly because it's so useful for whatever job you want to do. You're always going to need to type and typing fast is quite fun. It makes your life a bit easier and it makes you a bit more productive. So yeah, I hope you found this, this really interesting. If you're wondering why on earth is James making YouTube videos and you can watch my uh, video explaining as to why I'm doing YouTube and what my goal is, uh, I think it's quite an interesting video. Um, but yeah, if you've got this far, thank you so much for watching and as always, I will see you in the next video.